On behalf of Waterford Institute of Technology, I welcome you to this virtual ceremony for the granting of awards for the graduates of 2020. The ceremony has been streamed to all our graduates, their families and friends, and our communities. We share with you all our congratulations on your achievements and formally celebrate those achievements in this ceremony. I would now call on the Chair of our Governing Body to formally open this session and to address you. Aganushta, Arkown Institute, Technolyakta, Fort Larga, Boalam, Falter, Korov, Galair, Gudi, and Sharmana Shah you. By the powers of Arachtas Aaron vested in the Institute, and in accordance with the rules and regulations set down, this graduation ceremony of Waterford Institute of Technology for the year 2020 is now convened. On behalf of the Institute's governing body, I now affirm the awards confirmed by the Institute. These ceremonies represent public endorsement of the success and achievement of each graduate. The graduation marks the culmination of a programme of study that tested not only academic ability, but also the creativity, critical thinking, research literacy and other skills. The Institute community and particularly the teaching staff who delivered each program, joins with the family and friends of all of the graduates, those conferred here and those conferred in absentia, in being justly proud of their achievements. They graduate today, not only with an internationally recognized qualification, but with the skills needed to better meet life's challenges. I hope you enjoy this ceremony. Goran as chairperson of the Institute's governing body, I have the very pleasant duty in congratulating all of you graduates here today on your achievements. Your journey to date has been marked by a significant personal investment, time, effort and finance, and also the considerable amount of study undertaken to allow you to advance to this acknowledgement here today in our Institute. Your personal achievements are shared now by others family members and friends who have supported you in many ways to allow you to achieve your ambition. Your studies have allowed you, I am sure, to discover attributes within yourselves which may have surprised you, perhaps, as well as developing and promoting ambition, resilience, tenacity and willpower, and the ability to cope with the extra demands of continuing your studies in a pandemic. The relationship between you, the students and graduates, and the committed staff of our Institute has been the key to your success to date. They have mentored, challenged, encouraged, and guided you along the journey. And on behalf of the governing body of the Institute, I want to acknowledge the work which has ensured that standards are maintained with a quality and acceptability of your awards at such a high level regionally, nationally, and internationally. The journey of life you are now embarking on will introduce you to a world which will be constantly changing, complex, and with enormous challenges. While a global stage awaits you filled with discovery and opportunity, it is my hope that you can satisfy your ambitions in the region here, now or in time to come, and contribute to growth and development. Whatever path you take, you carry with you every good wish of myself and the Institute. You are joining a large group of highly regarded graduates from this Institute, making their mark throughout the world. We share in your success as we set about the future Institute developments, which will support the aspirations of future students and the wider region with the creation of the Technological University. In conclusion, May you enjoy the remainder of the day and your celebrations. We are delighted to welcome graduates, families and friends to the conferring ceremony for the class of 2020. In 2020, Waterford Institute of Technology celebrated the 50th anniversary of its establishment 
as a regional technical college in 1970. From humble beginnings, the Institute quickly became the leading third level education provider for the region and a sector leader nationally. WIT has established itself as one of Ireland's most innovative educational institutions, leading in research and teaching, driven by a strong ethos of partnership and cooperation with our regional and international stakeholders. WIT is a university level institute with an international reputation for academic excellence and performance. Our reputation guarantees that graduates of WIT are sought after by leading edge employers in Ireland and around the world. The greatest challenge WIT has faced since its foundation is COVID-19. I am particularly proud of the dedication and commitment which enabled the Institute to migrate its educational offerings online over such a short period of time. Our priority is to ensure that you, the student, continues to receive a quality educational experience, and most importantly, that the WIT Award in 2020 is a certification of your academic achievement and leadership. Despite the continuing impact of COVID-19 and the need to move this, this ceremony online, today remains a day to be cherished in your memories. The conferring ceremony is an important occasion marking your academic achievement and the hard work you have put into earning your qualification. You can be particularly proud of your achievement in light of the difficulties you faced in completing the course online. I know it has been hugely challenging for you and it requires great dedication and sacrifice. Thanks to your dedication and commitment, you have reached a major milestone in your life's journey as your qualifications open a world of possibility through which you can start to realize your personal and career ambitions. Today you celebrate with the people closest to you who have supported your journey of learning, family and friends, parents, guardians, children, partners, the ones who have been there for you throughout your studies. We offer you, the graduate, many congratulations and also a very special thank you to all of those who supported you throughout your time at the Institute. Today's ceremony is also a day to celebrate while remotely with classmates, recognizing the bonds you've built over the months and years of working alongside each other and the alumni network that will continue to contribute to your future success. We hope that post COVID-19, we will find an opportunity to bring you together to celebrate your graduation physically with the Institute, classmates and family. In the meantime, I hope that you will keep fond memories, not only of today, but also of your time at Waterford Institute of Technology. COVID-19 has redefined the work environment with the emergence of hybrid work environments, combining physical and remote working as the new norm. It is likely that this change will define the future work environment. It is also clear that organizations built on knowledge creation, its innovation and application continue to perform strongly despite the impact of COVID-19. These work environments need the kind of innovative skilled graduates such as yourselves. Thanks to your educational experience in WIT, you have the skills to succeed in the new environment, to develop new businesses, to transform existing ones, and particularly to take the lead in shaping the future of Waterford City and the wider Southeast. I am confident that you will embrace these opportunities and that you possess all the capabilities to become the next generation leaders in your chosen profession. Take pride in your achievement and your qualification. I wish you every success for the future, be it a future step into academia or in advancing your professional career. While the Institute's past achievements are considerable, the time has now come for the Institute to move to the next stage of its development with the Institute of Technology Carlo into a technological university. The new university will be university for the entire region and will have significant impact nationally and internationally. It is our ambition that in time it will be among the top new universities in the world. The creation of the Technological University will ensure 
that the Institute continues to drive the economic, social and cultural development of the South East. Thank you. We now move to presenting the list of graduates and I call on the head and dean of the school to present graduates from their departments within the school. President, I present to you the following candidates who have successfully completed courses in the School of Business and are worthy of their award. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Science in Retail Management on behalf of their programme leader, Fiona Fleming. Angel Brady. Ryan English Adams. Adam Finlay. Thomas McCarthy. Daniel O'Connor. Natalie Rellis, Anne Ryan, and Emma Ryan. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Arts Honours in Marketing and Digital Media on behalf of the programme leader, Dennis Harris. Shirsha Bonner, Ian Bradley, Nicola Carroll, Chloe Clintz, Michael Clintz, Michael Ennis, Shane Fahey, Sean Fanning, Sarah Fitzgerald, Danny Fleming, Eve Flynn, Tefia Hendrick, Gary Martin, Laura McErney, Sean Neville, Jan O'Dwyer, Laura O'Rourke, Mary Nicole Abelate. Olivario, Ashling Power, Wayne St. Ledger, James Walsh, Cameron Wells, Connor White, and Lewis Widger. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Arts Honours in International Business on behalf of their programme leader, James Redmond. Sean Bolger. Ava Brennan. Jack Brophy. Jamie Matthew Byrne. Noah Canty. Kaylee Crotty, Lauren Elliott, Kerry Freeman, Kim Green, Cormac Joshua Heinen, Emmett Henzi, Nitya Morty Kunalan. Sarah Lombard, Elaine McCullough, Jeffrey Murphy, Rachel Nolan, Laura Ayamid Olutu Jubril, Erin Ralph, Kieran Tobin. 
Jack Whelan, Orla White, and Ex Quan Zhang. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Arts Honours in International Management on behalf of the programme leader, James Redmond. Jing Huon Chin. Pi Wei Lei. Yuan Quan Li. Chin Heron Sean Lim. Leslie Shi Feng Lo. Bu Wu Tan. Sha Xin Ti. Zi Teng Wang and Tong Tong Wu. I present candidates from the Bachelor of Business Honours on behalf of their programme leaders, Dr. Corinne Paramani and Dr. Fiona Whelan Ryan. Michaela Allen. Aljandro Arvalo Usano. Paudi Barden, Billy Barrett, Rachel Barron, Sinead Barry, Casey Hannah Bland, Ben Bowman, Kira Brady, Dylan Breslin. Jack Brophy, Connor Burke, Kaylin Burke, Marie Byrne, Matthew Keith Cartwright, Laura Cashin, Joanne Chapman, Dylan Cheevers, Robert Morgan Childs, Patricia Helen Clark, Megan Cleary, Karen Cloak, Tara Coleman, Jason Conan, Fiona Cooley, Gavin Coppinger. Dawid Corrick, Aideen Cummins, Richard Patrick Cunningham, Kelsey Curran, Kevin Roger Curran, Kelly Dalton, Joanne Dillon, Paula Domican. Mary Doran, Emer Doyle, Aoife Dunn, Louise Dunphy, Shauna Dunphy, Mark Ellard, Paul Eustace, Michael Feeney, Anne Fennell, Dylan Fennell, Tommy Ferguson, Anthony Fitzgerald, Donal Fitzgerald, Kieran Raymond Fitzpatrick, Rosian Flavhive, Kira Flavin. Jack Frisby, Brendan Furlong, Claire Glancy, Stephen Haberlin, Siobhan Hahasi, 
Terry Halpin. Lauren Hayes. Courtney Healy. A.B. Hennessy. Liam Hennessy. Orla Hickey. Kate Hogan. Jack Hunt. Monica Janice Swalska. Vicky Kabang. Sharon Carnes. Emily Kyo. James Kyo. Kira Kelly. Rachel Kelly. Thomas David Kennefick. Chloe Keneally. Joshua Kennedy. Natishing Kuman. Jane Kiley. Jessica Kiley. Claudia Kobarika. Chloe Lacey. Lorcan Lacey. Maria Lanigan. Katie Larkin. Kim Larkin. Chloe Lawler. Alan Lennon. Margaret Lennon. Megan Lachlan. Neve Malone. Emma Manning. Justin James Marshall. Ronan McCann. Hannah McCarthy. Thomas McCarthy. Catherine Elizabeth McConnellogue. Owen Patrick McAvoy. Anthony McNamara. Eddie Meany. Shona Millay. Adam Minogue. Sean Mitchell. Connor Moore. Emily Alice Mordant. Lindsay Marie Mulhern. Chloe Murphy Cole. Brona Murphy. Kelsey Murphy. Katie Murray. Chloe Nolan. Chloe Norris. Andrew Dean O'Brien. Bobby O'Brien. Morris Anthony O'Brien. Neil O'Brien. Niall O'Callaghan. Ellen O'Carroll. Porik Francis O'Gorman. Patrick O'Kelly. Kelly O'Leary. Shannon O'Mara. Aoife O'Neill. Aaron O'Regan. Daniel O'Regan. Shane Michael O'Reardon. Dara O'Rourke. Murray O'Shea. Sophie O'Shea. Jack O'Sullivan. Sarah O'Sullivan. Olivia Phelan. Rachel Pierce. Jamie Power. 
Kaylee Power, Kevin Power, Yvonne Power, Sally Ann Quarrell, Amber Leah Quigley, Laura Quirk, Lorraine Mary Quirk, Dale Redmond, Moraith Redmond, Adam Roach, Connor Roach, Nicole Rush, Andrew Ryan, Billy Joseph John Ryan, Ellen Ryan, Robert Ryan, Emma Shanahan, Amanda Sheehan, Daniel Sheehan, Katie Sheehan, Matthew Sinnott, Edel Scalhan, Catherine Schnell, Freya Sweeney, John Sweeney, Thomas Adam Sweeney, Sandra Shostak, Mariah Talent, David Tobin, Sinead Tobin, Ashleen Tolton, Jamie Torpy, Christopher Vickery, Brendan Wadding, Lee Wall, Brian Walsh, Dylan Walsh, Mende Wang, Dean Wirty, Jade Whelan, Jack Welton, Neve White, David Michael Whitty, Craig Thomas Wickham, Neve Windsor, and Kelvin Young. The highest academic award that can be conferred is at the level of doctorate. I now present candidates for doctoral awards. I present a candidate in the Department of Management and Organization who has successfully completed the requirements of a PhD degree by research under the supervision of Dr. Pat Lynch. The thesis title is Development and Validation of an Instrument to Measure the Service Innovation Capability Maturity of SMEs and was examined by Dr. Mary T. Holden of WIT and Dr. Jimmy Hill of the National College of Ireland, Dublin. I present Taig Blumerda. Congratulations. I present a candidate in the Department of Management and Organisation who has successfully completed the requirements of a PhD degree by research under the supervision of Professor William O'Gorman and Dr. Valerie Brett. The thesis title is The Innovation Dynamo, Determining Channels that Generate and Facilitate Knowledge Spillovers in Regional Innovation Systems and was examined by Professor Frank Peck of the University of Cumbria and Professor Tim Vorley of Sheffield University Management School. I present Sergio Botello, Jr. Congratulations, Sergio. I present a candidate in the Department of Management and Organisation who has successfully completed the requirements of a PhD degree by research 
under the supervision of Dr. Ray Griffin, Dr. Sean Byrne, and John Casey. The thesis title is, What is Accounting and What Are Accountants Now? and was examined by Dr. Colette Kerwin of WIT and Professor Christine Cooper of the University of Edinburgh Business School. I present Anthony Burke. I present a candidate in the Department of Management and Organisation who has successfully completed the requirements of a PhD degree by research under the supervision of Professor William O'Gorman and Dr. Valerie Brett. The thesis title is An Exploration of the Influence of Regional Level Institutional Frameworks in the Evolution of an Interregional Innovation System and was examined by Professor Frank Peck of the University of Cumbria and Professor Tim Vorley of Sheffield University Management School. I present Mandy Larendiki. Congratulations, Mandy. I present a candidate in the Department of Management and Organisation who has successfully completed the requirement of a PhD degree by research under the supervision of Dr. Thomas O'Toole and Dr. Vim Beemans. The thesis title is Collaborative New Product Development Modelling Inter-Organisational Intensity and was examined by Dr. Patrick Lynch of WIT and Professor Hans-Jörg Gemunden of TU Berlin. I present Helen O'Keefe. Congratulations, Helen. That now brings our ceremony to an end. We hope you have enjoyed it. We ask you to keep safe in these challenging times and to follow the relevant health guidelines and advice as we return to more normality. We hope to see all of our graduates again at some point in the future, and we thank you for your support and for your sharing in this special graduation. <laughs>